what is up everybody welcome back to summertime outdoors and it is spring here in maryland and that means maryland dnr is stocking all the rivers across the state for trout so in this video i'm going to teach you three things i'm going to show you just what i use to catch stock trout i use three lures which i'll show you in the first part of the video the second part of the video is just going to be me fishing the river and showing you how i fish these baits and catch a bunch of trout and the third part of the video, I'm going to clean these fish and then cook them. And it's going to be simple and easy. Anyone can really do it. And it's very cheap to get into trout fishing, especially for these stock trout. They're not native, but it is super fun to get people into fishing. So without further ado, let's get into the video and I will see you on the river. All right, guys. So I just want to real quick just go over the stuff that I bought and then how I rig everything. And then we're going to hit the river. But... The first two things I'm going to go over is, these are both from Berkeley. they're both scented. These are the Nightcrawler worms here, and these are the Powerbait Pink Worms. I don't like to use any of the Powerbait that come in those little jars, I think it's just messy and you can catch them, I think, even better with those two options. And then the third thing I like to get is just a few of these little size 2 Panther Spinner Baits and they work real well, or beetle spins a lot of people call them. And then just terminal tackle. All I did was picked up a pack of size eight eagle claw hooks. They're super sharp and they'll pin your trout right away. And then I just got a bunch of, um, see if I can do this. Just a bunch of clip on weights here. And that's really all we, we use for tackle wise. And then rod and reel, they had rods and reels there for $25. I already have a trout rod, but this is the same brand as the one they had, so it's $25. It's about a step up from an ice fishing rod, but it makes it fun. And then basically, this is my rig. I'll just rig a worm just like that on the hook, and then I'll just put a weight probably two to three feet above the hook, and then the rods at Dick's already had line on them, so didn't need to buy line. And then you can also pick up a stringer of some sorts. Um, in this video, I just use an old jump rope. So we're going to go out on the river, and now we're going to catch some fish. So this is going to be the fun part of the video, and hopefully we can get on a couple fish and bring them home for dinner. So let's hit the river. Got my little micro set up. Got a little parabate pink worm rigged up on here right now. Be some micro finesse fishing. Should be fun. Pop in the water here. Get after them. Seen a rainbow trout right there. Basically, just throw it out, let it drift down in the current. And hopefully, they can get one to bite. Oh, one just had it. Rip my worm off. This is what I'm using. This is like five bucks. But I'm a Guggen. Set the hook too early. You can see it has some remnants of them on there. Let's see if I can't get on the bite again. We're sitting like right in this hole right here. Pretty nice trout right in there. Got him. Nice rainbow. Beautiful trout. That's a pretty one. And he swallowed it, so we're going to take him home for dinner. He's bleeding all over me. That's great. But, first one of the day. We're going to rig this worm back up. See if we can't get another one. Alright guys, we're going to try this Nightcrawler by Galt. This is a little bit bigger, but let's see if it works. There's a golden trout in the river right here. I 
Thank you for having an interest in this. Draw. We need to feed it. Got him. Nice rainbow. Big, big golden trout. Come on, guys. Big golden. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Oh, look at that one. Another beautiful. This is a palomino trout. I just call them golden trout, but that's a beautiful right in the corner of the mouth there. All right, guys. Well, that last trout trip was around two weeks ago and we got a one golden one rainbow but i wanted to go film another trip for you guys so i can see if i can get a full five trout limit today so it's 80 degrees it's real nice out we don't even have to throw waders on so we're gonna go up to the river here and see if we can't catch a limit of trout all right guys just cut down to the river i'm gonna head down to my favorite hole where i fished last time and hopefully there's some trout loaded up in there Let's see how cold the water is. Oof. A little chilly. All right, guys, these trout are in a tough spot behind this log. So I'm going to try reeling the spinner over the top. And one just almost just came and whacked it on the first cast. There's a big pile of rainbows back there. Let's see if I can get one to bring in. There we go. Oh, he just came off. Gosh darn. Two of them tried to eat it there. It's a big rainbow that just followed it too. Oh my goodness. They like the spinner, that's for sure. Big rainbow. <clears throat> and crushed it. Oh my god. Dark one too. Got him right there. <laughs> oh, man. dark one too. All right guys, well we just got back from the river. We fished for like another 30, 40 minutes after the last fish I caught. But a bunch of people started showing up after work. So nice out today, it's what I kind of expected. But we ended up getting three beautiful rainbows here. And a decent one at that. We missed a few, caught a few, it was super fun. Talked to some people at the river, it was a super fun outing. But we're going to now cut up these fish and then cook them for dinner 
probably tomorrow night and I'll film all of that for you guys. So let's get on the cutting board and I'll show you how to fillet these trout up and then we'll get them in the oven and cook them up for dinner. All you're gonna do here is take your knife right on the underbelly of this fish and then run that and then you're going to run it all the way down in between your dorsal fins here all the way down to the anus break that apart there I like to cut the head off here before doing anything else so you detach all your guts then you're just gonna rake out the guts here out of the fish like so now you just have this bloodline left and I just like to run my finger down that trout bloodline and get most of that blood out of there get rid of that fishy taste and then i'll just cook them just like this whole with all the guts and head taken off so that's the tutorial on how to fillet a trout and i hope you guys learned something so let's get these bad boys in the kitchen and cook them up okay guys so we got our trout on the pan on our aluminum foil and all I'm going to do is take this stick of butter and cut them into slim pieces here. About that size. And put them in your trout. You usually do three or four uh, slices of butter in each fish. Like so. And then all I do is, I take my seasoning here, and I just sprinkle it on the trout, on the inside. And then after you are done with your seasoning and your butter, all I do is just wrap them up nice and tight in the tin foil and then I will throw them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes so let's put it in there put in there for 20 minutes see how they're looking and they're looking and smelling really good let's see if I can show you guys they are steaming. So I'm going to take one out over to the table here and uh, see how they taste. The skin and everything, what I like to do is just peel that off on one side and then grab the spine here and you'll pull all those bones out and then you can just scrape that meat away get all those bones out of there and voila here's our rainbow trout and that is tasting really freaking good as you can see pulled all the bones right out cooked perfectly 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes and we're going to enjoy a nice rainbow trout dinner. Alright guys, well we're going to chow down on some delicious rainbow trout. This is the first catch and cook video I've ever done on the channel so if you like this video and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe, comment down below what you want to see next and we'll see you next time. So thanks for watching everybody.